Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Anonymo Opera Mechanic D-Date Deep Blue Limited Edition. You can see this D-Date Deep Blue Limited Edition and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Anonymo D-Date Deep Blue limited edition of 199 pieces. Now the story behind Anonymo is a fascinating tale of a modern watchmaking exodus, and the exodus was from Panerai, when the company, the original Panerai military contractor watch branch, was purchased by Vendome predecessor to today's consolidated Richemont watchmaking group, 1997 saw a lot of the original Panerai personnel, including designers and fabricators, leave to strike out on their own and create a genuinely Italian-made watch in the image of the original combat Panerai watches, albeit with a few modern luxury flourishes. Led by Dino Zay, former chief at the Panerai Sistemi, the defense contractor, Anonymo forged its way from roughly 1998 to approximately 2009 when the original company went bankrupt, leaving a legacy of authenticity and fan favorite timepieces that remain coveted collector's items to this day. And that's exactly what we have here 42 millimeters in stainless steel. You can see the family resemblance to Panerai, and it may as well, because it comes from the same minds and the same hands who crafted the original civilian Panerai watches. The watch is 42 millimeters, however, so a little bit more wearable on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist than the traditional 44 millimeter Panerai. Betterini case of the modern era. Now the watch is reasonably thin for what it is. 15 millimeters, it doesn't play 15. As you can see, the generous step of the case flank and the slope of the conical bezel means this is an easy watch to wear underneath sport jacket, loose sweater sleeves, blazer sleeves. In fact, from lug to lug, because it is a fairly compact 51 millimeters across the wrist, not only will it clear most sleeves, but it'll also fit on most wrists as it will fit on, in my estimation, a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. If you can wear a 44 millimeter traditional Panerai Luminor, you're gonna have no trouble with this watch. And if you're borderline for the Panerai, this watch will be manna from heaven. The no-nonsense Italian sports watch from military minds that you've always wanted. And it does have a great deal of personality to it. You'll note the retention of the strap by screws in the lugs, Panerai style, for absolute security and easy do-it-yourself strap swapping. When I talk about personality, I mean even the straps on these Anonymo watches were special. The Kodiak strap, exceptionally water resistant for leather. I wouldn't do deep sea diving in it, but it's certainly up to a splash or two and wonderfully substantial in the hand. These are collector's items in their own right and fans of the Anonymo mark are known to stockpile them. Contrasting stitch, beautifully cut, slightly rusty it's in character with the watch, and if this pin buckle spurs flashbacks and memories of the early days of Panerai, the answer is yes. That's where it comes from. This is a watch inspired by Panerai tradition, but very much its own thing. You can see the identity of the dial, unabashedly luxurious, friendly, cheerful. This is not supposed to be an intimidating, utilitarian, military surplus accessory. This is definitely designed to be worn every day and enjoyed as such. The case finish is wonderfully complex and unexpected. As you can see, the case flanks are actually media blasted. They're not grained, they're not satin, they're sand blasted or beat blasted with a matte finish to them that nicely contrasts with the satin finish of the lug hoods, the case top, and the bezel. This is an unusual contrast. It's rarely used on, on modern luxury timepieces, but it's used to great effect here. It's simply extraordinary and singular, and it helps the Anonymo, despite its name, to stand apart. Now, the flourishes of the dial, as per the name of the watch, Deep Blue, a beautiful, rich azure, slightly gloss, with super luminova Arabic numerals and hands at center. Now, it is a day date, so not only is this watch robust, and you can see on its screwed-in case back, an absolute tank. More than just 
a water resistant watch and a sports watch. It features the flourishes that luxury watch collectors love. The excess of a helium escape valve for those who will never go saturation diving but love to explain it as a conversation piece. The utility of the day date, in my opinion, perhaps the single most useful complication on watch and with a rock solid automatic winding 42 hour power reserve ETA caliber inside, this is the kind of watch that you can set and forget until you reach an irregular length month. Now it does feature the double quick set. Let me just make sure I roll through the danger zone. The watch isn't actually in its changeover. Yep, there it was in its changeover right there. First you can see hacking seconds, present and correct. A nice mechanical refinement for setting your watch precisely against a reference time. And then there is a double quick set function for cycling the date and the day. You can see and you can purchase this memorable moment in time, the Italian exodus from Panerai in the late 90s, rendered in a watch that's distinctive in every respect and now part of a well-loved but discontinued line. You can see and make this history part of your own on our website.